Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us. You've probably got a good idea of why you're all here today on this webinar, but first of all, I wanted to just give you an idea of what we've been through in 2019. 2019 has been another fantastic year for Digico, and thank you for everything that you've done to help us. This year has seen the launch of the SD1296 upgrade, the SD10 got a free upgrade to 144 channels, and we've also seen our first full year of Quantum 7, which has been really well received by the whole world. That's enough about 2019. R&D have been having lots of fun and games, so let's take a look at what they've been up to. Right then, R&D's out to lunch. Let's have a little look at what they've been up to. Get these on. Apparently they've been making a mixing console in a game. So let's have a little play here. Who should we be? Should we select Maria or Fernando or myself? Let's, let's go with Maria, because she looks like she's, uh, she's poked her eye out there, doesn't she? Let's have a look. Right then, here we go. Oh, this looks like Scotland. A bit hard to believe because the sun's out, but anyway, here we go. We're coming down onto the factory. Let's see if we can land in the car park. There we go. Oh yeah, this is Digico's car park. Look, there's a Ferrari. Open that. Oh, wow. We've got 128 channels and it grabbed them. And it looks like we're gonna have 64 buses as well. Just whiz around here. Oh, nice Porsche and Cray on there. Oh, who's that? That's Evil Rider. We'll shoot him with my paint gun. There we go. He's, oh, he's up again. Never mind. We'll get him next time. Nodals. 64 nodal processing. Well, we know it's not Quantum 7 then, don't we? Not much more than that. Let's look over here. Oh, eight spice racks and 36 mustard strips. Brilliant. We'll have, uh, we'll have the chili six there. Grab that and get those as well. Oh, there's someone else in the factory over there. Let's run over there and see who that is. There's a lot of stock in this factory. I think Austin needs to sell a bit more. Uh, six, six single maddies, that's cool. That's like Quantum 7, but with six and three pairs, three redundants, good. Who's that? Evil Diva. Let's get Evil Diva. He'll be up in a minute. We'll get him when he gets back up. We'll run, have you seen how? There he goes. See me running in these hills? Be practicing every weekend. DMIs, normal slots there, normal DMI cards, great. Optical one, waves, brilliant. And what do we got? Oh, that's new. A Clang DMI. 64 inputs, 16 mixes, immersive mixes, and only quarter of a millisecond of latency. That's pretty impressive, and that'll slot probably in any DMI slot, I expect. Oh, let's jump up here. What have we got here? So, not very good on this controller. Uh, dual redundant power supplies, well you'd expect that wouldn't you, touring products, quick release, extra life, great, fantastic, we'll have those as well. Dual supplies down here, have a little run, another one over here, there's a lot of these boxes, let's grab this. Oh, gold bus connectors, who doesn't love a bit of gold, eh, fantastic. Noble metal, no corrosion, that'll keep the, uh, the power running for a number of years, fantastic. Oh, there's a pallet truck there, that's health and safety, I'll tell Helen about that when I see it. Fort lift with no one in it. What we got? Ah, oh, up here. Ten macros, fantastic. Ten macros on TFTs. Well, that's a new one. We'll have to have a look at what they do later on. Grab that. Oh, that looks like a DeLorean out there. We'll go find John in a minute. Oh, 70 custom TFT displays. What, on the one surface? Oh, that's going to be impressive. Look at them, wow, 70 of them. 96 by 96 resolution. I have no clue what that means, but I'm sure we'll find out later. Go and find John. There he is. Let's have a little dance with John, shall we? Let's get him in a fish dance. Here we go. Better than uh, the floss, that's for sure. Local I.O., fantastic. Normal, I expect. Yeah, 8, 8. Yeah, just what you'd expect it to be. Oh, hang on. 32-bit I.O. on the local I.O. Fantastic. So we take it off the SD rack and put it into the local I.O. Brilliant. The, uh, the extra headroom there. Well done, Joel. He's off. Probably going to go and blow something up in the factory. That's normally what he does when he's up there. Uh, the fire brigade have come a few times, that's for sure. I think the last time he was up there it was 5,000 volts. All right, let's have a run down here. Another one of those pallet trucks. I think we overordered those. Let's grab here. What have we got here? Three banks of 12 faders. That's pretty standard. Oh, and two dedicated faders. That's very SD7. Let's grab both of these. We're making quite a console here, I think. Grab hold of that one. Right then, wonder where it's hiding. Oh, super loot unlocked. Oh, this is where I should go. That's a bit sick, isn't it? Super loot, fantastic. 
Let's have a look in here. Wow, those screens. God, blimey. Taking my eye out, that screen has. Uh, what does it say? A 17 inch, 1000 nits. That's, uh, that's daylight, that is. That's daylight bright. Fantastic. With the quick selects built in on the side. Full metering as well. And a totally new look. That's like a black look. Fantastic. Let's follow the, uh, the blue line. See where that goes. Oh, it looks like it's a flight case. Aha, we found the flight case. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? Let's open it up. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks like the back of the console with a light bar, that's interesting. What do we got on the back here then? Let's have a look. We should have that local IO, that 32-bit IO. Our opticals on there, one or two loops, that's pretty special. Uh, oh, the Clang DMI's fitted, I'm liking that. Two slots, brilliant. Uh, let's have a look at the front. Wow, logo on the side, fantastic, all lit up. Ooh, those screens are massive, aren't they? Look at that, the feedback I'm gonna get off of those. Come on, I don't wanna look at the back again, I've seen that already. Spin it round, let's have a look at the front. There are those 70 TFTs all over the surface and the macro keys, RGB encoders as well, this is very cool. This must be 100,000 at least. It's fantastic, 338. Quantum 3, I'm guessing the 38 is the number of faders, that would be right, wouldn't it? Three lots of 12 plus two, that would be 38. Mathematically correct. Let's have a look. Quantum 3. Boys haven't done a bad job by the look of it. Their game's over. Now it's your turn. Wow, that is a great looking console. I bet you all want to know how much it's going to cost and when it's going to ship now, don't you? Well, get in touch with your sales guys and they'll give you all of that information. Right, before we go, I'm happy to open up the floor to any questions. Tap away.